Hi there, today we're going to be checking out a base for my model range. So this is actually a commissioned instrument which is due to be picked up very soon, uh, but I just wanted to get a video in before it goes, because it's got some interesting features which I think you all might like. Uh, so this is a 30 inch scale base, and it's headless as well. It does have a small headstock, but there's no tuners up here, all tuning done at this end. Uh, so I've also done a medium scale version of the same base, and the previous one was medium scale, which was all oak. Uh, so it only had one wood, which is a bog oak fretboard, and then uh, bow oak on the sides and a quarter sawn oak neck. So we kept a similar theme for this one, because the, the person who commissioned it really liked that idea. And we've got all walnut for this one, with only one different wood, which is the fretboard. We've got ebony for the fretboard, because it's a bit more suitable material than walnut is for a fretboard. Uh, but everything else is walnut, so we've got bow walnut on the top, uh, a bow walnut pickup cover as well, uh, English walnut on the back for the wings, uh, more of the, this is the same as the top here, and then we've got the American black walnut five piece neck. So this base has the Sims Super Quad pickup in it, uh, which does Music Man version of a pickup in with the blue LED on, so that's all four coils. And then in the middle you've got jazz bass, which is just this back coil here, so it gives a jazz bass approximation. And at the bottom you've got P bass, which is like a cross coils. Um, and then we've also got the preamp, so we've got active passive on this one. And then we've got bass and treble uh, as well, stacked. So the idea behind the design of this base was to have something as small, lightweight, and as comfortable as possible. Um, we wanted kind of equivalent to the Steinberger style bases, except with a bit more of a conventional body where you can play it while sitting without having to use a stand or anything like that. And you can see it sits on the lap really nicely. It's not trying to dive in any direction. And that's, this makes it a lot more comfy to play because you're not trying to fight the balance at all. Uh, the whole base sits over to my right by quite a way, which makes a very short reach up to the first fret, which makes it very comfortable as well and helps with the balance. Yeah, the dimensions are very small, you can see my hand spans across the waist of the base really quite easily there. Yeah, so it's very small dimensions and everything's being kept as short as we can. Uh, this is a 30 inch scale base on this one and it's a five string, which some people will say you shouldn't do, uh, but it does actually work out really well uh, as long as the base is made correctly and you've got a very stiff neck, uh, it works just fine. Uh, the B string's very good, it's not at all floppy nice and tight sounding as well. Uh, so you're going to have a listen to it a bit later. Um, at the end of the video I've recorded a track using the three different pickup modes, uh, but in the meantime we'll have a closer look at the woods and the features on this bass. So this bass has the Nuva headless bridges which are made in Brazil by hand. Um, they're just as good as the ABM and the hip shot ones and they're really nice to use, they've got really some nice smooth tuning. And So I've used quite a few of those now. And we've got the Claro Walnut Burr top here. And we've got a bit of a th thumb rest there, uh, so, which allows you to rest your thumb all the way up here and obviously over the pickup as well, uh, which was requested by the customer. And we've got the same wood for the pickup cover. This, is, this comes from the top wood also. And then this is a neck through base and we've got a five piece American uh, black walnut for the neck. Uh, the preamp is the Glockenklang and it's got a two band so bass and treble and then active passive as well. And then it's obviously got the switch we just talked about as well with the three different pickup modes. Uh, so it's a really nice top wood on this, I really like it. It's got some great figure in it. And then obviously the ebony fretboard, which is the only other wood on this base, which isn't walnut. And we just chose that because it's a bit of a more hard wearing than walnut. And we don't want it to be all the same color as well. I think it might have looked a bit kind of dull if the whole thing is the same color. Uh, so that was the why we chose the ebony. And this has got the Luminlay side dots and inside it is reinforced with carbon fibre as well. And up at this end we've got an interesting feature. Uh, this is actually a mute. Uh, so this is cut from the same wood as the top and it's got foam on the underside uh, to get rid of any unwanted vibrations you may pick up from the string here uh, in the same way that a fret wrap does. Uh, so it's the same kind of idea and it also covers the Nova headpiece as well uh, because the Nova headpiece is like a square block and it doesn't look great on a headstock like this. It looks fine on a typical headless style base uh, but on a headstock like this, it just looks a bit weird having a big rectangle there. Uh, so this is a nice way of covering it and also adding a feature as well. Um, here's the back. Uh, so we've got added a bit of contrast by going for the English walnut for the two wings. So it introduces a different colour and stops it all being the same colour. And in the middle here, we've got a section of the top again. So this is another top off cut of that same lovely Claro walnut bill. And we've got a black accent either side of the whole neck beam. And then we've got one under the actual top as well, which you can't see from here, but you can 
from this angle you can see there's a black accent running around the whole of the top as well. And this is a five piece American black walnut neck. And this has got an oil finish on the whole base so it feels really nice. I think an oil finish is one of the best finishes you can use on walnut. It just feels really nice and really makes the wood look the best. And we've got the headstock here, uh, which has got my logo burnt into the back of it. So we're going to hear how it sounds now and have a listen to that Sims Super Quad pickup. That's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have, please do leave me a like and make sure you subscribe to see more content like this. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll hopefully see you on the next video.